with no further ado, let's cross the studio where James Creedence are waiting for me to watch. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Mark. Um, strange times we live in. Interesting times, you might say, especially if you're British. Yes. It's Lots a happening there. <laughs> Suspension of Parliament. Twitter is an intense place today, as are the streets of uh, much of Britain. People getting out and uh, showing their mm. uh, dissatisfaction with all this. We'll take a look online first. Uh, be in no doubt, says just the first tweet I selected at random because there's labyrinthine kinds of conversations going on here. You, you can't really sum it all up. Be in no doubt that Thatcher, Margaret Thatcher, not the most you know left wing person in the world, would have been absolutely disgusted in Johnson for his grisly handy handiwork today. Be in no doubt that Thatcher was. Uh, two, that Thatcher was so far to the left of Johnson, she was off the scale. So this is how people are feeling. It, it's I guess uh, it's it's a very uh, well used uh, comparison now these days but people look back to the times of George W Bush in the US under uh, the in the Donald Trump era and they kind of think gosh wasn't he more reasonable and I think that, that, that there's a, maybe a comparison there uh, I am being inundated says Conservative MP uh, Antoinette Sandback Sandbach Sandbach thank yeah. you she's being inundated with furious emails from constituents about the prorogation or suspension of Parliament. The proposal is an affront to democratic accountability at a time when the new Prime Minister should be happy to be scrutinised. Margaret Thatcher is one of the most divisive people in politics. And the fact that uh, what we're saying from that previous right. tweet, I think, is that Boris Johnson is proving to be even more divisive. I think that's the issue, isn't that's it? it? It, it? He's being so divisive, even within, in, within his own camp. It's sure. like divisions within the divisions. Sure. Uh, uh, three years ago, take back control. That was, uh, the expert, of course, the, the Brexit what, slogan. The people have spoken. If you oppose Brexit, you hate democracy. Uh, now, an unelected prime minister gets hereditary uh, monarch, uh, to, uh, hereditary monarch. Well, I suppose that's kind of a side point mm -hmm. to suspend the parliament in order to force through a disastrous no deal Brexit that nobody voted for. I was point, point being with, with what she's just said that there's no control for ordinary people. Right. There's no choice. Mm -hmm. There's no democracy right. in any of that. You know, because obviously Boris Johnson wasn't elected by the people. Queen Elizabeth neither. Right. Was she elected by the people, right. but you know. It's, it's, it's a monarchy, so perhaps we accept that. Yes. But what we're seeing there is that people have no choice. That's it. That's the thing, um, isn't it? What struck me as well, Mark, is this parody account basically echoes what was not parody. Par parody Boris Johnson. We must take back control of our sovereignty and implement the democratic will of the people. We will do this by suspending Parliament because the democratically elected MPs do not agree with the Prime Minister that 0.13% of the pop electorate uh, voted for. All, people all, really all are this as zeroing in on this. Sterling plunges, and then yeah. it's going to bump back up eventually. And the people behind this whole Brexit saga are going to make shed loads of money out of it. That's it. This and isn't actually, me saying that this is do, fact. Do you know who weighed in on that, in interestingly enough, because again, to kind of bring in the US-UK mm. comparison right now, uh, the Church of England. Do you remember, Seriously? Do you remember the, the Washington <laughs> Cathedral uh, um, in, 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 in the, the US Capitol, in a very rare move, issued a, a kind of a press release uh, about, uh, Boris, uh, about uh, Donald Trump and sure. various... Uh, what you know, racist uh, aspects to his his rhetoric, which is kind of unheard of that they would weigh into the political scene like that. And here we have the Church of England re with a press release setting out all of the reasons why they are deeply concerned and uh, various issues there. See, seeing the evidence of division in every part of England, we are deeply concerned about political polarisation and language that appears to sanction hate crimes, the ease with which lies can be told and misrepresentation encouraged, uh, the levels of fear, uncertainty and marginalisation in society. The Irish border is not a mere political totem and peace in Ireland is not a ball to be kicked by the English. Respect for the concerns on both sides of the, of the border is essential. So it's kind of amazing to see a religious institution that normally stays out of, of, of politics weighing in so forcefully on this issue. Church of England uh, created, of course, account. by the British monarchy going back to Henry VIII's time. So this is something that is, you know, dyed in the wool British English establishment. That's there you that's go. It. And they're choosing to speak out on that. I think that's, that's a really good sign. Really good uh, sign. And gives religion a good name. There's so much more on this, Mark. I'm just going to kind of whip through some of the cartoons here. You, th these are all illustrating the extent to which Parliament is just being ignored. That's the leader of the opposition, Jeremy Corbyn, being walked past. You have John Burkow, who said today that he called this a constitutional outrage, uh, Speaker of the House of Commons. Uh, uh, this is how the Commons is now being depicted by another a cartoonist, Davey. Uh, and the front page of uh, tomorrow's uh, The Independent is speaking of a coup d'etat. Coup was also, Mark, uh, one of the uh, uh, words that featured heavily in a hashtag, stop the coup. Uh, uh, people are viewing this as, as a coup when it comes to democracy. Defend democracy, resist the parliament shutdown. And people were getting out on the streets, various parts of the country. Uh, Mark Steele, their uh, co com commentator and comedian, calling it a national emergency. This was at Downing Street, people taking to uh, the streets. You have uh, uh, this uh, petition, you can see the numbers clicking up there in real time. Last time I looked, uh, it was 500,000. That's it. it. It'll probably hit a million by midnight. Sure. sure. Uh, so people are very caught up about this. Hugh Grant, I'd like to try to read that out. Be careful, there are some swear words in this. There, one, there, there are, and I'm going to bleep them out. But <laughs> it, you will not, 
you will not bleep with my children's future. You will not destroy the freedoms my grandfather fought two world wars to defend. Bleep you, you overpromoted rubber bath toy. Britain is revolted by you and you and your little gang of bleep prefects. That's how irate some people are right now. And I'm just going to finish with this, Katie Hopkins. The age of the politician is over. We just need people who get things done. I read that as democracy is dead. We just need totalitarian decision making. Is that is that what people are now actually? I mean, she's a, she's a reality TV in inverted commas star who somehow has a media profile nowadays, and she is one of the most abhorrent people you will ever read. The age of the politician. And that is the thing is shared over. by many people in the UK. The age of the politician. I just think that's yeah, an it's, it's appalling. It's appalling. You know, it's, yeah. you know that's, that's that. I think you hit delete on her kind of button as best as best as you possibly can. Yeah. Um, James, thank you for bringing me the shocking news from the UK. It's, yeah. Uh, and it's set to get worse and worse. Thank you very much indeed, sir. James and Media Watch there. Thanks to James. Thanks to Kate for the business as ever. And thanks to you for watching. Stay with us, sir. Uh, More to come here live from Paris. And react as you like via Twitter too.